Staying in South Africa, a group of refugees who were evicted at the United Nations High Commission for Refugees in Pretoria have voiced out about the living conditions since being relocated to Brookhospruit outside Pretoria. The majority of them were evicted from their communities during the xenophobic attacks in 2019 and have been living on the streets since. News Centre's Bongani Sisiba tells us more. Emotional scenes as these young girls pour their hearts out on their lived experiences as refugees. As each day sets, their dreams of getting education dim. They have not been to school for five years now as documentation for them and other refugees living in South Africa has remained a mission impossible. I feel like unsafe, traumatized and... I just feel so bad like the life is just there's no proper proper facilities there's no health fa facilities there's nothing to do here like at the moment we can't go to school because our documents are not really properly like in order there are worse off here there's no school within a 15 kilometer radius at least and the children don't have documentation then that's the Department of Home Affairs's fault so these children can't go to school anyway, and the UNHCR should have intervened earlier, got the people papers. These young girls are part of a group of refugees that were evicted from outside the offices of the UN High Commissioner in Pretoria. They say they were then brought to this abandoned school in the middle of Norway in Broncospread by human rights lawyers and other organizations. This Saturday, last Saturday, they brought us here, human rights, police and metropolis. But so far they are not yet back and we don't know and we are just here. As you can see, we are far away from people, not, do I act, we got access from nothing. Living conditions in this camp are a source of worry for its inhabitants as they are not provided with proper food and they lack access to water and medical care. Even if emergency is happening, we don't know how it's going to happen because we have the pregnant women, we have the, 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 the babies, we have the kids and also the mothers, we have a high blood pressure. Now, even something is happened, since we are coming here, we never see even the people they are passing here, no one. This one for my daughter, this one for my second one. This woman here, Eliza Akafo, has a family of five and she says this is all she has to feed her family. It's the same story for many others here. Not everyone in this community is happy about the arrival of these refugees. However, some good Samaritans are offering some assistance. We can't, we can't allow this kid, these people because they are refugees to come to go to jail. No, we are here to help them. We will give them a place to stay. We will give them food. We will, we will keep them, them safe until the government have a plan for them. Because if they become now refugees in a, in a foreign country where there's no one can look after them. So we are here to look after them, to give them all the humanity back to them. As they face a very dire situation as refugees with little or no hope for the future, these young girls, their peers and their parents alike can only hang on to the dream that the next day might bring about a turnaround in their fortunes. Bongani Siziba for News Central TV, Broncos Spread, South Africa.